Hi everyone, welcome back to Gom's Tech Talks channel. I am Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to see four journals which are multidisciplinary that is based on computer science, physics, astronomy, chemistry, biochemistry, genetics and molecular biology. Um, uh, and we will be talking about few chemistry based journals, forensics journal and also the um, uh, mathematics applied mathematics journals okay so let us talk about this so before um, understanding before uh, um, going further into the topic i would like to suggest you that please recheck in the database so if i'm talking about the scopus database go to scopus.com and find whether the journal is indexed in scopus okay and also please don't submit in any cloned journal please recheck it uh, why i'm telling you is because uh, the journal which is indexed in uh, scopus today might not be there after three months okay so please recheck it so the first one which i wanted to tell you is what uh, check okay check whether the journal is still indexed in scopus or web of science second one is check for the scope of the journal whether your article is under the scope of the journal third one is you can check for the total number of issues and more and the fourth one is learn more about the journal so what is the acceptance rate um, uh, what is the uh, what how many days they are taking to reply you back and everything and fifth one is you can find about the author guidelines that is plagiarism policy and everything and sixth one is you have to take care of the checklist or like what are the things which you have to submit and everything so in this what are the important thing you have to see is what the uh, these first two to four is very very important okay and other than this these two are important but these are the things which you have to check first. Let us go to the very first journal, which is Karbala International Journal of Modern Science. So here you can see it is still there in Scopus, but please check it before you submit. And you can see uh, this is a multidisciplinary journal, which is computer science, physics, chemistry, biochemistry, everything okay so let us go if you click if you search for this journal it will take you to this particular um, website so here you can see learn more about this particular journal so first let us go and check for the publication fee there are no article processing or for publication of the journal on all submissions so you don't want to pay anything for publishing in this journal okay this is the first one and if you go and check for the aim and scope of the journal you can find the complete aim and scope of this journal okay so physics chemistry biology computer science and related subfields fine and you can uh, see about the uh that is all issues so if you just go and check for the issues and if you just browse here you can see how many issues per year so 2022 they have published four issues per year which means that every year they are publishing four issues uh, yes so and if you want to know more about this journal go to about the journal and learn about how many uh, see uh, this is the timetable issue one should be published and issue two issue three and issue four okay and you can learn more about the journal like how much uh, time they are just taking and uh, for your uh, information this is q2 journal okay this is the q2 journal so this is def this will definitely give you a very excellent profile for if you publish your journal and your article in this journal okay and uh, if you want to know more about uh, this specific journal you can send a mail to the uh, mail to the editor you can check this faq okay frequently asked questions so here you can find um when how do i revise how do i accent and can i post related so everything related to this if you are not finding the relevant data you can send a mail uh, that is a mail to the editor okay so sending a mail to the editor regarding any specific uh, details i have already posted three videos go and check it so the next video next um journal is what high performance polymer so this is also related to chemistry okay this is specifically related to chemistry so here if you go to the submission guidelines you can see that how many uh, that is there are no fees payable to submit in this particular journal great and if you go to the all issues you can see like how many uh, issues per year they are just publishing if you go to 2022 you can see here that already how many year how many issues they have published okay so they have published 
nearly 10 issues it's a great news right so i think you can consider this journal so this is 10 issues so 2023 you can find you can they will be publishing 10 issues in a year of course it's may they have published the may issue and june july august september so you can find it okay and know more about the journal uh, to the submission guidelines go to the submission guidelines so that you can find more about this particular journal okay uh, so they will be there talking about the formatting options aim and the scope how uh, how you have to draft the uh, uh, paper everything they have they will be mentioning about next one is we are going to talk about the forensic so international journal of electronic security and digital forensics so you can see here that there are no charges for publishing in india science and they are publishing nearly i think six issues in a year you can see here it's a six issues per year and you can see like what are the topics they are covering here okay and if you want to know more about the uh, indexing you can see here it's indexed in scopus and else uh, and the sci okay and you can know more about the journal go to the submission to the article so here you can see um, the author guidelines so you can learn more about like what are all the important thing which you have to do which you have to consider before submitting your article in this journal and the last journal which we are going to discuss is what the numerical functional analysis and optimization so this is uh, uh, the publisher is taylor and francis online so here you can see the uh, list of all issues in order to know about how many issues per year they are just uh, going uh, with so they are uh, publishing 16 issues and year. it's a great news okay i think the special issues are also there okay you can also consider for the special issues if it is available and if you go to the instructions to the author to know more about the publication charges there are no fees submission fee or publication fee or paid charges fee for this journal okay and if you wanted to make it like uh, if you wanted to have the printed uh, version then the paid charges or a uh, figure in like your image charges may apply here other than this please learn completely about this so they have the checklist like what are the things which you have to keep it okay what are the things which you have to mention and everything they have mentioned here so it's very important to see all these things before you submit your journal to this or submit your article to this journal okay so uh, these are the important thing and if you go to the aim and scope of the journal you can find like what are the aim and scope of the journal so what are all the scope like what are all the topics they are just concentrating on and uh, they are uh, signal processing control theory image processing everything okay and you can see the indexing okay and if you want to know more about the journal you can go to the journal matrix so this is available here so in the journal matrix you can see that speed acceptance that is 49 days from submission to the first decision 113 days average from submission to the first post reviews decision 14 days and 24 percentage of acceptance rate is there so great it's a great news and it's a q2 journal if you want to know more about the difference between q1 q2 q3 and q4 please let me know i will explain in detail in a separate video so you should understand what is q1 towards q4 okay so this is a q2 journal so it's a very good journal okay so here they have already informed uh, explained clearly about what is this matrix is all about so this matrix will be available in most of the journals and few journals will not specifically mention about the uh, matrix detail you can find it any anywhere in faq or about the journal or anywhere if you are not finding it out please send a message or a mail to them so that they can help you out so i have already published a few videos related to um, mailing a light writing an email to the editor like to know about the cover edit uh, cover letter writing a cover letter to the editor to know more to know about your submitted article status okay so i have and to wave of the price of the journal price of the article which you have submitted so all these things you can find it in my gom stack talks channel i hope you found this video useful if you really um, uh, get some info uh, if you really got some information from this particular journal so please leave a thumbs up share it with your friends um, and uh, give a comment thank you take care bye bye